Okay, so as Venice, we start out with 381,000 in GDP, zero population. Obviously, that's not true. We have 1.85 million people. Uh, in terms of natural resources, uh, I mean, we've got sulfur mines, coal mines, and logging camps. No iron whatsoever. It's kind of rough. Yeah, life life could be better, I think. Input shortages everywhere. Mm. Okay, I'm not concerned about weapons or artillery right now. Not concerned about mineral wars. Fabric, wood. Clipper's not concerned about. Fabric, wood, iron is going to be big. So let's see if we can import those just off the bat. Because we should be able to get a lot of our goods from Austria. Obviously, we, we came from Austria. We... <laughs> Released them day one. Okay, let's get intensive agriculture. Iron hey, is the tricky part. We got nothing. We can sell to the Austrian market as well, though. And we have a lot of stuff to sell. Okay, I think I'm gonna pause immediately and then see what is happening with that. Okay, so we have textile mills, a decent sized textile mill, some glass works, and some paper mills. I think we should also have, if I check, silk. That's kind of good. Because silk is kind of rare. So let's take for a little bit. Okay, we're going to need some wood. Trade agreement with Austria. I did that. The reason I did that is because I want to enter into their market. I think that's a good idea. Just expel the distillates. So good job. I can click my fingers. We'll all go back to what we were. Now this time, let's try and not <laughs> immediately expel diplomats. I can't improve relations. We're already amicable. Okay. Okay, I think the Austrians would back us. They wouldn't let us join is the issue. It's fine. We'll take the money. We're an unaccessible government. The rough way to start. Trade agreement. Yes, please. We'll sell to the Spanish and the Moroccans. Luxury clothes are going to be our bread and butter. Okay, GDP is 1.7 million. 1.8 million. I'm happy with that thus far. Okay, we're going to get construction sector first thing. And then some logging camps. We need tools. I don't have tools. That's fine. What we're going to do is wait for that to hit 20%. Switch over to wooden buildings. And switch back out again. Ah, oh, it doesn't reset immediately. It sucks. Could be getting no iron. Okay. Where can we find iron? Show potentials on map. Everywhere around me. Or should we do have a border with Medena? Looking at... Venice at its height. We need to take uh, this state here. We also need to take out... We need to take Lombardy, and we also need to take South Tyrell. We also need to take Istria over here. Dalmatia. Things like Croatia as well. Ragusa. Or just Montenegro. We need parts of Albania, so we're just going to go for Albania. Greece to a degree. Preet, and also Cyprus. So we're going to be fighting a lot of different people. Okay, we could probably fight Parma. they got iron mines. Oh, sorry, at least uh, Modena. We need that. We need the iron. We really need the iron. Yeah, okay, we're just going to do it. Unfortunately, we have too many lances and too many artillery. It's a little bit concerning. Still, uh, I guess we're winning. Why? I, I don't know why we're winning this, but we are. He has better everything. Why? Why? I have eight armies. He has six. Okay, there you go. Now we have more battalions. We can actually like, get a maximum of 40 uh, battalions raised. Is that because of our law? No, professional army. Look, look how many we can raise up. If I wanted to, I could raise up to 40, which is fantastic. This will hopefully solve our iron issues and we'll get cracking from there. All right, there we go. I don't have tools, buddy. All right, let's issue some decrees, road maintenance, violence oppression. I'll we'll encourage the resource industry because that's where we're going. Yeah, now it's only minus 2%. We need to pass legal guardianship. Give it to regress women's rights. That, no, I'm not, that's a, a terrible look on YouTube. I'm to do that. I have a heinous wood shortage. That's fine. Sort that out. Yeah, look, I can have like 46 conscripts. Sort that up to 20. And I want to go after presumably you. The concern is that these guys are, ooh, yes, please. I about to say, the concern is that these guys are part of the customs union of uh, the old Austria. They most likely would come in, but not always. Okay, I need to get another interest. I get in the Balkans, then use the Austrians to attack the Balkans. We're actually making money. So that's surprising, but also welcome. Okay, and I think if we can... There we go. Now you're there, but I need tool. I really should have considered making a tooling workshop before I did anything else. Tuscany now antagonistic towards us. Well, I have a big buddy, so that's on you. Go to annex Tuscany. So Tuscany is currently having a bit of an issue. A lot of people are undecided. Unable to support Parma because they've got a defensive alliance with me. I'm a genius. I can just go around conquering this lot now. We don't need that many conscripts. Only mobilized formation is going to raise conscripts. Mobilized, raise conscripts. Nice. The government of King Alberto di Savoia has signaled for support for the unification of the Italian peninsula under a single nation. I agree, but I don't think in the same way that you think. It is a war, and it should be over. Alaka, come on. Just accept it. Just accept it. Guess let's just keep on cracking on. Take advantage of the situation we created with the defensive pact. Okay, soil enriching farming. Uh, wait. So you're going to create more fertilizer, and I think, is that enough to... 35 more in total? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, that's a cool feature. Shows you which is going to have a very low activity. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm at war. Completely forgot about that. We're about to be at war. Oh, please. Come on. Just start employing people, please. We really need to mine. Now, Venice didn't technically have this stuff, but I'm going to say that I, they did. I'm just going to lie to you. And right now, as an audience, you're going to do the right thing. Close your eyes. Don't trust your eyes. 
your ears. Just trust me. Let's get the Balkans going. We need 20 prestige. I'm close. Ooh, we have a lot of education. Hey, raw iron tools. Let's do that. Oh my god, the employment's so slow. Sweet. All right, we've united this little state here. All right, well, we have silk, so I guess let's make those luxury clothes. We might not have a stable economy or food for our people, but boy, can we make clothes. What? I can have coal. Why am I not doing that? No, I don't want to build the barracks. <laughs> it's way too late for them to do that. Enemy side, 162. I don't know that Austria will back me is the issue. I'm going to wait until the Ottomans actually go to war, and then I'm going to do it. Come on, keep employing people, please. I think everyone's being employed by the army. Ooh, I just need to enact homesteading. Ideal. Okay, now I can switch some things over to slaughter housing. Do it, because that's going to hopefully drive up a demand, which means you should start to employ people. You do. Yes, I figured out how our economy works with your update. Okay, sounds kind of obvious, but that's... Shut up. It's fine. Okay, so we don't need more iron. We have a lot of iron. We need more wood. Ah, oh, well, that's very convenient. Sawmills. A hopeless people. Yeah, that sounds like Italy. I need more wood. Here's what we'll do as well. We'll switch out our construction to iron frame buildings, which should help us a lot, because it means we need a lot fewer wood. Ooh, liquor. We're running out of liquor. We need more vineyards. Okay, this might be a problem. I'm lacking in a few departments, but it's fine. I'm sure it'll figure itself out. I need more tools and the shortage of tools are resulting in a shortage of other things. All right, definitely more tools. How many tools do we need? 66. Okay, fine. I should build one of these then. Okay, Austrian Customs Union. I think it's a good idea. It'd solve a lot of our issues. It would solve pretty much all of our issues, you know, for us to accept this. But the Venetian Serene Republic does not bow to the economic winds of another. All right, there's the tooling workshops done. Oh, right, yeah, I was meant to fight the Ottomans. Ugh. All right, we're going to order in some liquor. The Venetian market demands it, apparently. Get the food industries going. All right, I'm happy to spend the next couple of years just sorting out our economy and making sure that we're it's sort of ticking up. Everything is suffering. Iron shortage. Okay, let's fix that. I, I've, I've outgrown my own industries. This is bad. Now let's do this. Atmospheric engine's done. Nice. It's gonna help our throughput. It means we don't need as much iron. Damn, okay, we actually have a surplus of iron now. Cancel the iron mines. Okay, we're making a lot of wood. Am I selling it or something? What is this? No, we're actually importing it. Okay, I need 160. There we go. One, two, three there. Okay, sweet. And then we need on... Uh, no, wait. One two clothes there because i think this text model is going to do our like fancy clothes and i think this one i'll drop it down to like i'm going to keep this wait, 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 where are you there you go just do normal clothes but do a dye workshop okay food industries i'm just gonna churn out alcohol with them that's what you like to see all right are you gonna this is the number one food industries around so could you hire more please Thank you. Do we produce sugar? From where? The hell is this going on? Are you trying to convert these people? That's a lot of fire. But they're not doing converting, more burn. Alright, we need even more iron mines. Oh my god. Alright, trundling is fine, but I want to leapfrog a little bit. So we're going to start building a steel mill, try and get steel tools going, and then sell those tools to other people. Specifically, the Venetians. Wait, no. The Austrians. I'm the Venetians. Damn it. Oh, what's wrong? He's not going to bankrolling me. Nice. They're bankrolling me again. Sweet. Inspired by the cause of... Uh, Italian unification from Tuscany. Unrest has spikes across our lands. Great. So because they want to unify, they're having to go at us. Hill State wants an agreement? No. Oh dear, Austria. German leadership. Ah, uh, this... Mm, I don't think this is going to go well. I'm glad I'm not in the customs union. We're going to conquer Moravia and Bohemia. Oh dear. Just need to wait for this war to be done and then I can go after the Ottomans. Urbanized Venice. Nice. Venetia shines like never before. But maybe not like never before. And this was pretty resplendent in its day. Austria, go ahead and lose this war, please. Yeah, oh, hopefully a white peace. Austria, heal white peace. You can do the same. You are losing this war. You have 243,000 dead people. Please, just peace out before he takes more land. Just do it. Come on. How is the peace acceptance going down? I'm not joining your customs union. This is clearly not good. Okay, and immediately because you lost that. Now you want white peace and he doesn't. Congratulations. You played yourself. I think it's time to do a quick Moroccan GDP check. Morocco. And the Tunisians also aren't doing great. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I need Austria-Hungary to get me to be more powerful. What about Greece? What's Greece's whole deal? Being bankrolled by Prussia, but no one will help. You can trade for Venice, and he won't take it. Let me see. What's the worst province you have? You wouldn't accept Tartarus for an amazing state. I don't know what these lines are, and frankly, I'm scared. Uh, uh, what is that Brazilian flag? Ah, uh, over to my boy. Okay, here's the play. We go after... The Ottomans. Okay, he's cocky. Austria, we can sway. This is the idea. I can become their protectorate and they'll join me. No. I will humiliate the Ottomans for you. That's a 20. That's 30. That's 16. Okay, let's just do the humiliate thing. All right, sweet. You joined. Now, what did the Venetians have? Montenegro feels opportune. So let's do that. Let's call in the Russians. Give me war reps. And I think that's everything that I want. Those two provinces and war reps would be good. Thessaly. Can't do that. He's worried. We only get it. Okay, yeah, he's going for it. Sweet, that's ideal. So we're going to take Albania and Montenegro from this. And immediately we're going to go after Greece. Ah, did not expect this. Oh boy, please fight this off. Oh no, my economy's tumbling. 
It's a going. It's going bad. Okay, I don't know what's going on over here. The landing progress doesn't seem to be happening. But I think they've officially, like, effectively blockaded us. Oh my god, he wants to take Venice. Okay, it's getting close. It's be very close, but I think we've just beaten the naval invasion. Okay, yeah, I'll send him back. Nice. Oh, that's the Sultan as well. He tried to land himself. Sweet. Good job. All right, just waiting on the Austrian. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of raiding. All right, it's ticking now. 47. And this should be fine. All right, there we go. We succeed. I need a port here. Oh, God. Please stop lingering. All right, market access is increasing. Those war reps also pulling their weight. Why did they turn brown? It never occurred to me that that happened. Oh, Hindustan. Still, I don't think as much as the game changes and improves, I still don't think there's any hope for you, buddy. Like, Prussia's having a rough time as well. Republic of San Marco. Oh, okay. How's about? I don't know what you are. Crush Venetian succession. That's me! Okay, Ottoman Empire and Bargoing us. That's fine. Could activate extra supplies. Sugar, some chocolate. This is actually really cool. Oh, and a company. Venetian textiles. 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 <laughs> Whispers of Rigel Gemento. Okay. Everyone wants to unify into a single Italian state. Oh, God. Austria Hungary is at war again. What are you doing this time? This time you are fighting to not lose Southern Tyrol, Moravia, and. Tyrol. Tyrol? Why would you want to go to. Oh, God. He's gonna... That means I have to fight Prussia. Oh, boy. France is also in this war. Okay, and they're trying to conquer East Prussia. Why would you try and conquer East Prussia? The AI makes no sense and I hate it. It was an Ottoman peasant revolt, which has a really cool flag. So the US has not fought Mexico yet. So that's nice, you know. There's some hope over there. Our GDP continues to leapfrog places. I mean, we're about to overtake Brazil, but we've been on par with Sweden and Korea for a little while. I kind of want to see if I can increase that any further. The best way I know how. War. <laughs> I want a good life for the Venetian people, but at the same time, I also need to have more things to have a good life for the Venetian people. Fertilizer is going to create explosives, which is going to create munitions. Okay, there's munitions. Perfect. Did I get lead from anywhere? Oh, cool. I don't know is the uh, short answer. Fantastic. God, all this is to build a modern army. Dude, I'd love to do proportion taxation. You know how much money that'd make me? Pop-ups, please. Please, let me sell in the army. Build 10 of these. 15 of those, I suppose. Can't because I don't have any artillery. Ugh. What happened? No, I needed that. Ooh. Courage, nationalist sentiment, or pro unification sentiment. 1925 will lead to the seizure of the Venetian government by pan Italian revolutionaries. Jesus Christ! Okay, which puts us on a timer to, to do what we're trying to do here. Okay, that means we need to start going ASAP. We have Greece to fight, we have uh, Egypt to fight, and also we have the Ottomans to fight. So, oh god, I should have taken Cyprus. All right, let's get cracking then. Honestly, the amount of, like, industry you need to have a modern army is ridiculous. Just have artillery. You need an artillery foundry. Oh, yeah, it's just, what's the point, you know? Being, obviously, massively facetious there. And also sarcastic. We're a monarchy. We're the Serene Republic. We've got an explosive shortage, so build more explosives. All right, we've got proportional taxation, which actually increases our income quite significantly. That's really convenient, because I wanted these islands here, because I was going to make a whole, like, oh, look, I'm better than, jo uh, than uh, Genoa joke. But... All right, so the last thing we really need is Egypt, specifically Crete. And then we go after Greece. And then we go after if you're hungry. I'm leaving them for last because I don't have to do that part. We need like one, two, three, four problems. Hoping we can get the French to join. Even though we have poor relations with them. So what's the current great power ranking? The USA is at fifth. Austria-Hungary at sixth. I was going to say 7th because I was looking at Spain. So I said I went 6th. <laughs> Rather strange accent. We're lacking in any resources like iron. What I'm going to do is... This one had a chemical plant. Do I not have a chemical plant? Drop that back down here. Fertilizer plant. I need to direct a priority. It's going to help our mining. And the French aren't in a position to help me at all. I think our last hope really is the Prussians. Can't do. Hopefully because we're so good, such good friends. We are. Oh, okay. The Greek only have four, four flotillas now. And we have nine. Go. Right, we're off. We're only infamous. So that's good. Mobilize you. Natural commander. We have six frigates and three man of wars. We could technically make ironclads, but that didn't help me. Just the amount of liquor that we need to produce is frankly frightening. Right, I've gone for the entire Greek mainland because that's what we're looking for. We would have had portions of it, especially the western Aegean island. Venetia is claimed by... Oh, no. Well, <laughs> I did not see that coming. I can't imagine you're going to be too friendly to me. This is good because it solves the whole issue of, of the uh, Resorgimentia thing. Uh, quite nicely for us. Because I didn't want to have to do it, you know? Plan naval invasion, this fleet. I mean, we're going to be hideously. 63, 65%. It's fine. Because we should have a lot more of his, the forces than he does. When does it go? How do I know if it goes? There we go. They'll actually do it now. Right, he's off, which means he has to fight a naval battle first. Or oh, many more ships than he does. That's the plan. Okay, he's been rinsed. And the flotillas retreat. Oof, okay, has a lot more troops than I do. Well, than I thought he did. Really should have taken Thessaly. All right, we lost two, but we've got one more hope still. Because we've been doing a lot of damage. The military is better. There you go. 
18 versus 10. That's what we were looking for. Got a bit lucky is all. Did it reset? Oh, right. We need to win a couple of times. Okay. Well, that's fine. We've done damage to him, so we should be okay now. 22 versus 6. So one more should do it. Got no troops there. Sweet. All right. Sweet's actually there. Nice. Okay, cool. Just tearing him apart. All right. We got him fully occupied. I think we do. Improving our relations. That's good. If we improve relations with the Russians, that could be kind of good. Yeah, I need to rival someone. Let's rival Greece for now. That should give us more people to improve relations. You just left? God, we've got to do it again. Oh, why? What? 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 Why would you just leave? <laughs> so I think what happened last time is that, that this front down here didn't qualify as a front line until we'd conquered this. And then it was too late. They'd already pushed us out because my guy's gone home. All right, well, that's this, that's this lot done, though. All right, reset production. Oh, God, I didn't incorporate Crete. Wait, Cyprus. Crete, Crete is the next thing. That was Crete is the next thing. We're not beating that unless we have a modern navy. Uh, we can sit there and hold this territory. Oh, and here we go. The Mexicans are going to get destroyed. Upgrade you to ironclads, which means we need to go to military shipbuilding. It's my only source of military shipbuilding. Because I need one to be in normal frigates and the others to... Yeah, whatever, let's be fine. I'll just upgrade my my entire navy when I can. What's the upgrade from frig frigates again? I need to remember. Frigates goes to monitors. Okay, well, we're researching monitors, so we'll be ready for that soon. Build up four naval bases. I think that should be good enough. Oh, no. Italy, what's going on, buddy? You're supporting... The Americans are supporting the French, and there's trying to it's conquer Savoy and Italian Provence. Mechanized workshop. Apparently, I'd never created a furniture. Just skip the hardwood stage of this stuff. Go on straight for steel. Makes it a lot easier. Let's keep up to date with our universities. Get another 20 innovation. Left has won the election. Massive engine shortage. Jesus. We want to import wood, man. I don't want to sit here for hours and just keep on building up logs until you get electricity. And then, because the thing is, you build up all these logging camps because you need the wood. But then electricity is such a huge jump forward that you have all these like stupid obsolete logs, uh, like logging camps. You just do with the, with the fewer amount of people. So then all the work is for nothing. Honestly, the terrors of industrialization. Oh God, I'm bored. Yeah, I should be able to invade Crete pretty easy. And then we'll just sit on Venice. Because I don't think the air is going to invade Crete. And if they do, we'll just take it back. Because that's the war goal. So we can just sit there. Crete and then Austria-Hungary. That's the hard one, given. Yeah, 173 battalion. We're at 35. <laughs> the United States of America has taken on British Senegal's debt. That's kind of cool. I didn't know they'd like formed colonial nations like that. British East Africa. Okay, nice. If I get Prussia involved, it's done. Subsidize it for now. Good. We show enough fertilizer to generate that. I mean, we do have a fertilizer plant thing. Expensive, but it's not... It's not horrible. Okay, Marlis has got three weeks left. We upgrade our navy and we go from there. 15 versus your 36. And we're at number two to one, but our stats should be better by like two to one. Port types can be monitors. Up port dies from the Italians. Because we're Venetians. They're not the same thing. We're about to become a major power. All right, I'm not going to sit waiting for this. I think it'd be quicker just to do it from scratch again, even though we have to like wait for them to re up themselves. What is. What needs Man of Wars? There's nothing that needs Man of Wars. Naval base. Which one are these ones? One, two, three, that. We can't afford for us to around with our navy. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's good and all that you're doing that, but like... Oh, no. Yeah, Russia as well. Who is improving our mutual relations? Who are also Hungary's rivals? Britain. Yeah, Britain on board. God, there are three Prussians. Yeah, I don't know that you're going to be able to do anything about this, Prussia. You might have just handed the Austro-Hungarians German leadership. Fine, probably don't form Germany. Just need a couple of provinces. I'm so close. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. This is bad. Give Spain an obligation. How many troops do you have? 103. Austro-Hungary. I'll give you Venetian Montenegro. That leaves us with just Spain. And I'll have to give them an obligation. Anything else I want from you? I was revoking your claim, but like, we have extra supplies. And we've made them loyal, which gives us another 10 percent okay oh they're back down okay and they yielded the primary war goal okay good because i did not think i was gonna win that <laughs> the, the, the spanish really sent over 28 all right we're good no one no one panic everything's fine war operations are gonna go they're gonna help boost our economy though why is the prussians have been doing so well they're fighting off the americans the austro-hungarians and the russians very surprised they're doing so well Proof relations with the ottomans because i don't need to have negative relations anymore now that's gonna help with the minus 100. I've actually never seen minus 100. At least I've never noticed it enough. Fighting for 400 years, Turk. Surely it's time we, we put our differences aside. Look, I've conquered back the territory that I took that, well, that I had, that you took from me. I think they can't break the Prussian defense, but the Prussians don't have enough troops to push. Surely you don't have enough troops. Uh, shortage. Oh, they got rid of my defensive pack. Times damage relation to the Austrians. I think I can nip in there now. Neither one wants to back down. Although actually they're all about to make peace. Italy ended their rivalry with the United States. They're all like, forget about it. <laughs> I'm very tired. More interests. Uh, North Africa work. Go for South China. Mm, actually, we already traded them. They give us access. Well, we used to give us access to Mexico. So in fact, let's just go, go for Dixie. Go for this coastline. Because it gives us Canada, Russia, and also Mexico and the United States. Now, I met someone at the Grand Islan who told me... Or oh, land. They weren't wrong. He said Hokkaido. He always goes for Hokkaido. I can't remember... Um, I don't think he told me his name. But he, he played as... Yeah, he's, he's like Hokkaido is like the, the best province. He always goes for it. And he's not wrong. Whole iron lead... 
logging camps, gold mines, sulfur. That is phenomenal. 100,000, yeah, so that's the issue. Oh, kind of, if you can get it going, it's like a hell of a problem. I'm going all in, buying building five more because off the backs of Italian war operation. Go for presidential republic, and we get rid of the king. Doge once more. I don't want to... I don't want to fight a revolution, man. All right, cool. Cool, we become a major power. We're actually one of the best of the major powers. Which means we can't be annexed or, like, subjugated. Cool national anthem as well. Time to build a modern army. We'll have an army of 75 after this. Mass mobilization of the people. Again, the only issue is our, our economy is built off the backs of the Italians. We really need to... What the hell is this, Prussia? Why do you have that? Why do you have Prussia in New Brunswick? I mean, it's thematically appropriate with Brunswick, but sure. Romania is formed. Oh, the Venetian army really getting big these days. I think... Do we just, I think we just watched the Austro-Hungarians Austro drop below to a uh, great power. Major power instead of a great power. What the hell happened to you? The GDP is flatlined. Okay, what the hell happened there? Switch over to the Japanese. So let's say the Italian one's looking good and then it just suddenly dropped. If yeah, people really want us to become Italy, but like, well, not really. They're just sort of sitting at like 10% of the nations like, yo, that Italy sounds pretty cool. But I think that that waned in the face of them trying to kill us. And they were like, actually, this Venice stuff is kind of all right. Let's stick with that. I'm going to do something some people might consider to be uh, unethical. Um, and we're going to go ahead and declare war on the for the simple reason that I want their money. I'm going to liberate Bosnia Herzegovina. They're going to say no. Then we are going to ask war operations. Sacrificing Albania to do it. Primary and then hope he backs down. Give the Russians a treaty. Play with Kars treaty port. And that's enough for them to do it. That might make him back down. Added my war operations to the primary goal. Okay, I need to do this last second so they don't back out. Go, now they're in. Fearful. Sweet. Okay, cool. And that actually sells Albania. Yeah, our stats are, frankly, a lot scarier than theirs. Oh, they're actually fighting. Sweet. Commanders are much better than his, so we can just blitz. Please don't go to the unguarded. Okay. That's fine. I don't like Albania anyway. Not like it's the source of a lot of our GDP. 13%, in fact. Wait, is he not pushing? He's just sort of sitting there. Yeah, he's defending the front line against nothing. Force construction for a little bit, and we should be fine. Okay, that actually helps us out a ton. Right, who else could we nick war approaches? I mean, I don't really think that anyone other than the Ottomans was ideal. Liberating Tuscany from Italy. Tuscany supports Italian unification. Dude, I just got them to pop you out. They backed down, man. Come on. Actually close to becoming a great power. I think it is time we launch over here, though. It's the only one where I think that they might not back down. Okay, we're split into two armies. See them run around, waiting for that big stack to leave. Ready to defend any naval invasion targeting Nali. 100% naval efficiency. Should be able to beat any navy that comes our way. And also, he shouldn't be able to... There should be no one here to defend against it. And he shouldn't be able to then counter naval invasion. Okay, he's defending against the naval invasion. That's fine. Absolutely rinsing him. Okay, do we immediately take it? Uh, demobilize you. You are going to deploy to the sea node. Should take out all of his... Fleets. That's us protecting our nodes quite nicely, and we should win. And we'll get war operations off the Egyptians, which is nothing to sniff at. We went down in a place. Why? Okay, Austro Hungary overtook us. Can't even import it from anywhere. There's literally no downside to us being in this war now. Okay, and then after this, it's Austro Hungary. We, we're gonna have about 100 uh, divisions. We've just got 200. We're gonna need allies. Russia's are the obvious choice. I feel like I should be able to blockade that more efficiently than, than, than what just occurred. I mean, at least the fights have. I'd say at least the fights happen immediately, but apparently not. There we go. Maybe he's actually gone south. They, where are they going? Going to Eastern Mediterranean Sea. Is it not a Suez Canal? Oh, I suppose it's not yet. No. We're all the way around just to fight me here. So yeah, maybe our economy is dependent on diplomatic pacts, but that's fine. It's what the Venetians did. <laughs> not at all what the Venetians did. Okay, so you turned up here. We have to wait for his presence to turn up a bit more. Why can't I fight him? Yeah, that ain't close. All right, cool. And they're done. We have this land now. Let me briefly switch over. Where are you? State action. Welcome to the new era. All right, now I've got to figure out the Austro Hungarians. Oh. Defensive. Packed with Britain. Even better, they've joined us in an alliance. Yeah, that makes me feel a lot better. I mean, we feel like we should probably just go for it. Take Lombardy. There we go. Let's just do it. Britain wouldn't join us. You're my ally. I give you... I could, yeah, I'll give you German unification. Why not? It'll give me, uh, like, a lot of things to play with, but enough. Not everything, but some things. USA is united. It has sided with the Austro-Hungarian. Wait, no. The USA hasn't. They abandoned it because the Qing? What the hell did I do to you? <laughs> Why is the Qing going in? That's all that's about. I mean, the Qing was going to get involved. I'd, ask, I'd, ask, I'd have asked for... Um, I can give iron to the Qing. Yeah, somehow I think that's going to break down very quickly. I'm going to be raiding myself. The Qing are coming through Russia. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Of course, I think their troops are terrible, so we should be okay. We are taking out the Garens over here, which is good. Very important. Training against the Ching. All right, you are pushed into, into Bohemia, though. The only person pushing is me. All right. Yep, standard. I don't know how you have supplies. You know, surely Russia's not supplying you through this entire thing. Now, that is terrifying and frankly ridiculous. It tells me this is going to be a bit of a slog. Russians are pushing over here. That's nice. Against the Ching over here. The only issue is if the, if the Prussians decide they've had enough, they're in a bit of trouble. Ooh, it's left and right stuff. Russia declares is their rival. Numbers like these look terrifying, but then it's mostly made up of the Qing, which are really not great. Prussians are going in. Nice. Mountain territory is miserable to push. Push through it, we have. All right. The Prussians push further into Bohemia. Kind of hard to tell. Again, the fact that the Qing are getting supply is absolutely heinous. I don't know. I don't know how they're They've swindled the Russians here. Oh, what the hell's going on there? <laughs> what is that? There's literally hundreds of thousands. Where are you going? Central Mediterranean. That's 
terrifying. He's still proposing. No, I don't want to. I don't want a white piece. Completely ignored this front. It's not like they have, though. Oh, they violated sovereignty to go through it. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that because you pulling off of the front line is very good for me. Oh, you bounce. Why does it look like it's been occupied by the Turks? <laughs> okay. For a second there, I thought they were involved. Okay, we push into Istria. I need to halt this negative progress, which means I need to take back Venice. Oh, sorry, uh, Albania from the Turks, apparently. I'm also gonna do this by taking out... Uh, I should've gone for Albania first, but we're going for Dalmatia. Take back Albania to stop this, because unfortunately... Uh, and I've tested this. If I leave this if i leave albania and think oh well albania is not that important uh he'll take despite I've, the, the fact that i've taken everything else he'll take okay whatever uh he'll take the um land from me like he'll technically win this war well, i'll just rely on the prussians to win over there then this front despite the fact he's got a massive advantage we just haven't been winning I'm mildly frustrated by it we've become a major power or a great power we need to take istria we're not taking it's a strategic objective we don't have fighting in Sun tyrol i don't need Sun tyrol I also don't need Tyrol. Even though it says it's under Ottoman occupation, it's mine. Like, that is, it's under my occupation. You can tell because, look, you can see that this is happening. Which has frozen this at minus 92. Now we just need to take Istria. This has been exhausting. <laughs> this happens as well sometimes where, like, he just ships armies around. I don't know how. <laughs> I have a massive navy I invested heavily in. Why is he able to just chill there? All right, we're taking Istria now at least, though. That's what we needed. Even though we had his capital and everything else, Istria was the thing we needed. And we've finally taken it. And I've defended Venice, even though it looks like it's under control of the Ottomans. It's not, I promise. Spent a long time pushing through South Germany. He'll do everything. There we go. That is that. Going off of Venice at its territorial height. Istria. Here we go. Lombardy. That's done. Took a little bit extra in Amelia. Uh, we've taken Cyprus, Crete, these islands here, the Peloponnesians. I mean, technically, we need the Ionian Islands because of Corfu, but they're a subject of Britain and uh, they're my ally. So I count that as a win. I just, I'm sorry, that last war sapped any desire I have to continue playing this one. <laughs> uh, full disclosure, I saved and reloaded. Um, about 10 times because like Albania would be just, I would, I would surrender. Like Venice would surrender. We would, we would give up Montenegro uh, to Austria-Hungary, despite the fact that all of their country was occupied, including Lombardy, including South Tyrol, because we didn't have Istria, we would surrender. <sighs> anyway, that's that done. Venice has uh, been restored. We are the sixth ranked great power. Uh, usually when I end these videos, I'm like the number one great power in terms of GDP. I've done that a couple of times, but the economy game is a lot harder to scale in the new update. I'm still playing around with it. Some parts of it feel very, very satisfying. Uh, the war stuff is better, objectively. Uh, you've got a lot, a lot of different uh, equipments and stuff you can hand out, uh, and that does help things out. So you, it means a stronger economy translates into a stronger uh, army. That's why we've been able to take out uh, armies much larger than ourselves. Um, which is always good because before it was just like a couple of modifiers and your tech now It's also your economy. So that's great. So yeah, let me know what you think of the new update in the comments down below Otherwise, I will see you all next time after you like and subscribe There we go. Got it. Goodbye Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDAL52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, original shadow singer and tom your support means a lot guys also here why not watch another video i mean it's it's right there just just click on it